Don't do that. Sorry. How long have you been standing there? A couple of seconds. Kelly tried to kill herself after her baby died. I know you know. You haven't said anything, and I appreciate it. It was just so hard for her. She had severe postpartum depression. Then one morning, we woke up. Our little baby was cold. So, about two weeks after the service, I went home from work early. Because you know, I knew Kelly wasn't doing too well. I found her in the bathtub. 20 minutes later and she would have bled out. So I wrapped her wrist and I called 911. I broke the shower door for an excuse, but I knew nobody was gonna believe it. You see, for Bradley's dad, it's coming home, hearing the phone ring, and thinking it's gonna be news that his son's dead. But for me, it's coming home, finding a knife out in the kitchen. Thinking I'm gonna see Kelly and all that blood again. Even today, just here in the bathtub running. How's she doing now? She's better. Starting around Halloween, we had a good Thanksgiving. I just, I don't know. I feel like she's hiding her feelings from me. Please, please don't tell me to let go. I'm not telling you anything, bud. And you know that. I broke the law. I broke the law so I could try to give Bradley's family a little relief of their pain. I'd do anything to ease Kelly's pain. Let go. Sometimes I wish I could.